Azure Active Directory architecture. By default, say example, you're creating a tenant or you're creating a subscription in Azure, right? So what will happen? It will create a you know primary Azure Active Directory uh, in in one data center. Say example, you're creating a tenant uh, from India and that particular Azure Active Directory will get created in India based data centers. If you are sitting in Singapore or other data centers, whatever region you're selecting, it will go on select in that location and it will create. Okay. Once it created, what will happen that that Active Directory, you know, um, data will get replicated to the next, you know, uh, data center. We will call it as a secondary site. Okay. So what will happen? this uh, you know primary site goes down also your data will be available in next site okay once next site got the data of your active you know azure active directory information what will happen it will sync it to another location we will call them as third site okay third site will be getting copy from the second site it won't talk to uh, primary site because that is how the cloud architecture configured and third site will will replicate the data to the next site or next geographical locations okay so any at any point in time your active directory data will be available to and above data centers across the Microsoft data centers. Okay, right now Microsoft has data centers uh, in 36 plus locations, and all the locations are you know, okay. So uh, if you see this model, what will uh, what will happen, right? If primary site goes down. Secondary site will pick up and secondary site also not able to you know uh, support you it will go on you know further extend to your another data center and you will get authenticated over there be it in be it in India be it wherever you are your authentication will get smooth and, and you will not face any issues that is how the Azure Active Directory data centers has been configured for you okay so the primary site is called as write copy okay only one data center will be having write authority for your active directory so if you are writing so if you want to create some user what will happen the primary site will be you know uh, keeping that write copy so there only you can write okay you will be entering data not a problem that will go on save in the you know your primary data center and then that data will get replicated to the secondary and tertiary data center we will call them as a read copy okay so what uh, how why it is configured like this means say example you know active directory always uh, depends on replication right you are writing something in multiple data centers what will happen there will be collusion and user you know multiple users so if you are having administrator across multiple locations if they are creating same users what will happen there will be problem for the user object creation right it will get created with duplication that is why what microsoft is doing they are keeping the right authority in one primary data center and other data Data center they are keeping as read copy so if primary data center goes down the secondary site or third site will pick up the uh, will will become as a owner for your active directory tenant or subscription that will keep the right owning permission so whatever you writing or creating users that will go gets uh, you know saved over there and it will replicate to other data centers if you open a browser and you know uh, uh, type url portal.azure.com it will take you the uh, take you to the azure portal okay initial uh, previous uh, one years or two years back there was a separate uh, you know url for azure active directory but what happened at microsoft has integrated that to your you know uh, azure active directory also part of azure, you know azure portal so you need to use one url that url will uh, take you for complete you know azure uh, applications so our azure active director also part of azure portal only so now i am entering my credentials if you if you know if you are in front of the machine what you can do you can create a you know trial tenant which is valid for 90 days and initially you will get with you know uh, five, 25 user and e3 license will get it so that is uh, you know sufficient to test whatever i'm going to show you <laughs> so 
So uh, there is no separate uh, URL for our uh, Azure Active Directory. It has been integrated with Azure portal itself. So you can use single URL and you don't need to, you know, keep, uh, you know, multiple URLs for, you know, in memory. Okay, single URL. So this is how it will load. If you are creating Office 365 tenant, okay, it will go to portal.office.com. You will create a tenant, but you can access portal.azure.com using your global admin. You can access here. So ideally, Office 365 relied on this Azure Active Directory portal also. So whatever tenant you're creating, that tenant global admins can access this page without any issues okay there is no need to create you know a subscription in portal.azure also so here if you see all basic azure applications everything it's showing here right so you can go and search here azure active directory If you say this is the service, uh, what, what what is hosted, uh, you know, uh, in Azure. So if you click, it will take you to the Azure Active Directory page. You can search here. Also, you can you can if you want, you can you know uh, you can see in this blade as well, Azure Active Directory, right? So this is how Azure Active Directory looks like. And you can see all the options. Uh, ideally, whatever you're seeing in on-premises, like creating user groups, all those things, you can see it here. But it is web-based, you know, portal. Yeah, but in uh, on-prem Active Directory, you can see the console dsa.msc if you load, right? It will be OS and containerized, right? You will see all those things. But in Azure, it is not there because it is cloud-based application and there is no, you know, containerized. You can see only these options. Right. See users and groups, organization relationship, and if you see uh, domains, right? Domains also. So the uh, user groups, enterprise, everything will be there.